I have these videos from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about SQL query insert into example. Before starting the demo, I just want to set the context. I'm using Derby database for our demo purpose and I've already created one database table called employee table for our demo purpose. I've, I've already installed Derby plugin in my Eclipse that's why I'm able to get all this stuff and this is our employee table which has eight employee details and this table will be using for our demo purpose let's see SQL query insert into example what is the purpose of insert into SQL query the insert into statement is used to insert new records in a table there are two forms in insert SQL query the first form does not specify the column names where the data will be inserted only their values like this insert into table name values that's just the values okay then insert into employees there's, there's a second form insert into table name you will be mentioning the column name as well as the value name this is the second form but this is not usually used because you don't have to mention the column name while inserting a row you can just mention the just the values so these are the two forms available in SQL query insert into, insert into. so this is an example for SQL query insert into only with values and this is the example for SQL query insert into with columns and the values typically people use this one it's very simple let's execute this currently we have eight rows in our employee table when i execute these two query we should have two more queries added two more rows added okay so totally 10 employee records should be there i'm going to execute the first query let's see what's happened what's happening uh, one row is affected let's execute the other query and see the result is working. Okay, so second query is also executed. Now I'm going to select the rows from the database table. It should have 10 rows. Yes, we have got Maria and Mitchell. Both the uh, employee details have been inserted. Initially, we saw only eight rows. Now, two rows have been inserted. That means insert into query worked properly. Again, I want to just mention there are two forms only values and you can give the other form is you can give column names and the values and inserting query will insert new records into your database table. The columns should match the values that you are giving should match the columns that you have in your database table. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.